Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So today is another Disney collab with Mickey. It has been literally forever since we've done one of these, probably a couple months or at least a month just because I have been so backwards busy. Um, but it is Mickey's anniversary this weekend. So she messaged me and asked me uh, if we could do this particular Disney collab just so that she had time to put it up for her anniversary. And, you know, she does so much for me. I couldn't say no, so I made sure to plan this week around making sure I did this tutorial. Now, of course, in doing that, normally we try and kind of like dress a little inspired by the princesses. You probably have no idea what we're doing, particularly because of what I'm wearing, and I will explain to you why. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, and if I haven't, then I'll give you a little background on why we're doing what we're doing, but Mickey's favorite Disney character is Aladdin. She thinks that he or she feels like he would be her Disney husband. Um, so for today's um, tutorial, we are going to be doing the movie Aladdin. She, of course, is going to be taking on Aladdin. And having said that, I am going to be taking on Jasmine, the princess from the movie. Um, like I said, I had full intent of, like, I have a hairband that's actually a very similar color to the one that her, her like, kind of minty outfit is with gold woven through it and stuff. I had planned on doing that and having my hair go back all cute and whatever. Came home today from work, couldn't find the headband, couldn't get my hair to cooperate. So this is what I'm left with. The best I could do is put on a vaguely minty colored shirt. So I do apologize that I don't look super like my Disney princess, but this is what we're going to get. Um, this is the only way I could make sure that this video actually got done today and that I didn't just like throw up my hands and tap out because my life has been so hectic. It has just been insane. And she's actually Snapchatting me right now, um, which I will answer later. So hopefully that's not too important uh, and not time sensitive. So all I've done so far is do my basic face makeup. If I look really tired, it's because I am really, really tired. Uh, work has been insanity. Just so much information thrown at us all the time. Uh, I'm not used to getting up that early at all from when I used to work my bar job. And I just kind of threw this on after work because I didn't have time to do it this morning. Um, that aside, so my face is done. And the only other thing I have done is prime my eyelids with my painterly paint pot. Today we're going to be sticking to, there's a couple looks she has in the movie. She does like the red one when like Jafar is taken over as the Sultan and whatever. Um, but I figured I would go tried and true and just stick with the one that she wears throughout most of the movie. So we're going to be playing with a lot of like teals and minty kind of green colors. I have a ton of different colors to work with. I have no idea where this look is going to go today, so bear with me. I also have like a plan where I'm going to try and wing a liner, but we know how that's gone in the past. So don't hold out for that to work out at all. Um, I tried today to stay... I wanted to try and stay away from using all MAC eyeshadows um, because I know I do that a lot. But honestly, it was it was impossible for the color range that I wanted. Um, I have a lot of that teal color and a lot of palettes, but it's all darker. And I needed this particular palette, which is my Jeremy Scott um, Boombox kind of palette. I needed this particular palette for the shades just right here because they just seemed so perfect for Jasmine. Um, so we actually are going to start there. I'm going to take the color Synthesize and use that as a base to sort of put all, wowza, that is a deep dark, which is funny because I remember swatching this and it not going on really nicely at all. So that is actually crazy how good it is when you put it on your eyes. Alrighty then. So yeah, I'm just going to put that kind of all over as a base color. Like I said, it turned out a lot more white than I think I thought it would, but uh, that's okay. I'm also trying to film this kind of in daylight so you guys can see because I know somebody did complain that when I put up my St. Patrick's Day video it looks really cool but you can't actually see what colors I'm doing which is a fair statement. Next color I'm going to dip into is the one right below it. It is an oldie but a goodie. It's just like a minty kind of a color and I'm going to start building that up in my crease and I'm actually going to put that all over my lid as well because I just don't think that that first color is uh, quite dark enough for what I was hoping for. And like I said, I know I want to do some gold here as well. Um, so I think I'm going to do that kind of as a lower eye accent and definitely a little bit on the upper. Um, also throw that in with the highlight and a little bit on the lip as well. And if that sounds kind of weird, I'll explain when I get there. So I'll just start with a, it, right now it only looks like white, even to me. Like I know that the color is sometimes off on my camera, but even to me. It just looks like white, so you guys aren't really missing out on anything quite yet. I'm hoping that this builds up okay. 
Um, I don't have my color switch. It's packed away somewhere. Um, I'm now going into my NYX Ultimate Brights palette. I'm just going to use this color right on the end here. I don't know the color name because they don't come with color names. And I'm going to start building that up in the crease, all along the crease. Because I do have quite a few variations of this like color in different shades. So we're going to get into some darker ones uh, a little bit later. Just like that, just for a start. Now into another different palette that I absolutely adore. I'm going into my Natasha Denona. This is my eyeshadow palette number five. I'm going to pick this color up here, which is in Tropic. It's an 08V, if that means anything to anybody. It's so funny, too, because like it looks like there should have been... Like, oh, ow. Disaster. It looks like there should have been a brush in here, but there never was a brush in here, so maybe somebody can explain that to me. Anyway, I'm going to pick up some of that color and definitely keep building. I mean, I was just going to put it in my lid, but the, it kind of ended up everywhere. Whatever. Such is life. I do have darker colors, too. This is super blue. Okay, now just to kind of bring down some of that deep, dark blue, because there's an awful lot of it. Gosh, I'm dropping everything today. What a bad day I'm having. I'm going to go into that same palette and pick up this color here. This is in pearl. It's kind of like a, a golden color, and I'm going to pick it up on a really big fluffy brush, and I am going to fluff that up and over in the crease area of where that other one is just to kind of blur that out a little bit because my eye is getting super, super blue really, really quickly. Not a ton, just for like a little bit of a uh, variation. It's kind of only something you can really see in the light too. When the light catches it a certain way, it looks a little bit golden. If you also hear yelling at all in my house of my parents, I haven't been home in a couple days, so I am expecting um, either a knock at my door or a yell from downstairs pretty much at any time during this. So do you guys see how there's just like a little bit of that gold? I really hope you guys can see. I'll get really close just to kind of blend it out and soften those edges a bit because it was getting real dark with that green real fast. So now I've got a couple other choices for a darker shade of that green. So I'm debating, I think I'm going to use this color out of my Jaclyn Hill palette. It is, you know what, let me swatch it on my arm and just see if it's too green. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? No, we're going to use this corner one, which a little bit of shimmer in it. This is in Pool Party. Uh, and then I do have another one from my NYX I Love You So Mochi palette that Mickey gave me that we're going to use as well to give it a little sparkle. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use that or one from here. We'll see what happens. No promises, no guarantees. What is that? Oh, it's my hairband. Never mind. So I'm just going to pick up some of that Pool Party color and I am just going to focus this in the outer corner. Maybe I will need to go in with that darker one, I think, because this one is not not shaping up to be dark enough for my liking. Oh, actually that's not bad. Just like that. Okay, so now what I have planned right now is either going to make or break this look, so uh, I could screw it all up right here. I'm just debating. I was going to do like a little itty, like a tiny, tiny itty bitty bitty black and blend it out. Let's not do that. Let's not screw this whole thing up. I'm going to go in with that darker teal color from that Jaclyn Hill palette. It is in the color J Jada, Jada, I don't know, and just put that in the far outer corner like that. I was going to put a little bit, of, I kind of still want to put a little bit of black there to try and tie in her hair a bit. My fear is that, um, as I'm sure we've all done uh, playing with makeup, if you put a little bit too much black, kind of masks everything else. But I think it could look really cool. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Go big or go home. We're going to do it. I'm just going to take a little, itty, little, little bit from that Jaclyn Hill palette. Just like the tiny, tiniest little, little bit. 
and just right in that little corner, just pounce it on to deepen it up. Okay, see, that didn't really screw it up. Didn't really do much of anything, but didn't screw it up. And it did give it a little bit more shading in the crease, which is kind of what I was looking for. Just a little, little bitty variation, because I did find that a lot of those blues were starting to get mangled, 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 uh, and blend together a little bit too much. Uh, now, what I have done is cover most of that gold, but that's not fair. I'm just going to blend that just so that it's not super stark. But it does add that little itty bit of like definition that I was looking for. This eye looks better whatever such is life let's go in then with hmm. okay so we're gonna go into the uh, ooh, do i want to use that color or that color i'm just trying to think because i do want to add a little pop of shimmer to the center are these pretty much the same color those are pretty close to each other eh? that one's just a little more bluey Let's use the one from um, the Love You So Mochi one. That's the little more, more bluey one, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, yep, 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 that's that one. Okay, so we're going to use that one just because, just because, just because why not? So that is in the color seven. That's helpful. Anyway, I'm going to just take that shimmery color and kind of pat it all over what I've already done, like kind of more on the outside than anything, because I think I'm going to try and find a bit of a golden one, which there is actually one in this. How gold is it? It's yellow. That'll be fine. We're going to use that yellow one and kind of put it in the center. Just like that, because that'll just dull down a little bit of that green, because I did kind of go, you know what? This look at first was starting to go a little bit wacky, but I pulled it back. I reined it in, reined it in. You know, even putting that bit of black on, I think, really helped. Just like that. So it's kind of mermaid-esque. Hopefully we'll change. I got blue all over my hands because I don't have any makeup wipes with me. Dropping the ball. Okay. As per usual, the make or break moment of my makeup. We're going to do black liner. This is my Ciate. Or no, it's not. It's my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner. So sorry. We're going to do this. We're going to attempt a wing it probably isn't gonna go well and I do actually want this a little thicker because I do really want it to stand out quite a bit that was too thick but this is okay this is gonna change the shape of my eye completely what I just did but I'm not mad about it weirdly enough I'm okay with that Okay, now when people wing liner, they go, like that, we're going with it. It looks vaguely acceptable. I accept it, if you're doing this on your own, wing your liner better than I can. Good goop in my eye. Now the real tricky part, is going to be getting them to match. So that part so far so good. Okay, what angle does this really go? I'm going to take it. I'm not going to fuss with it. I know they're at different angles. So if you want to tell me that, you go right ahead. I'm well aware. But this is the best I have ever done at a wing liner. So I'm going to accept it and move on with it. Just move on. I am going to take a little bit of this gold shadow. This is a uh, Super Shock shadow from ColourPop in the color Jinxy. And I'm going to put it on my lower lid not really doing anything these shadows for some reason like and not even for some reason I know they do it uh always seem to work better on um, with just your finger is it me or did that not do anything I know the answer so instead I'm gonna go back into that um I love you so mochi palette and pick up some of that blue 
do a touch of that because I do kind of like she is still princess you still want this kind of shimmery kind of whimsical but not too harsh and then I'm going to take some of that gold and just drag it in the middle I make the funniest faces when I do my makeup I should pull together a montage of all my stupid faces that I make when I'm on here. So it is a little bit more yellow than I want, but it definitely makes it stand out a ton, a ton, a ton. So I'm going to say that that's going to be pretty much done for my eyes because I don't want to fuss with that, what's actually worked out pretty well, and I'm kind of surprised. So I'm just going to put on some mascara now. I've got my Benefit Roller Lash. I pretty much use the same mascaras every time I do my makeup. Um... I should really start trying different ones out. I have a ton. I just don't seem to use them. Don't know why that is. And then I've got my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Because if you're going to wing your liner, in my opinion, on my eyes, you definitely need to have dark lashes. So in terms of a blush, I wanted to go with a bit of like a deeper kind of spice sort of a color. Um, I just gouged my finger in it. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte blush. This is in the color Feisty, if I can find my blush brush. So this is a darker color for me for sure. But I do want to add a little bit of warmth to my cheek. Obviously, I am not the right uh, complexion or really anything. I don't have the right hair color, the right skin color, anything to pull off Jasmine, but this is just my interpretation and I just think that she's very warm and spicy and feisty, so I wanted to kind of go with a warmer color that was a little bit spicy. And speaking of spices, for a lip color, I am going to be using a MAC lipstick. This is in Shanghai Spice. It gives the lips a nice like pop of color without really taking too much away from the eyes, which is where I wanted the focus to be. And then on top of that, I am going to be taking a, I think this is a Dazzle Gloss or something. It's in Pleasure Planet. It came out in the Star Trek release, but I know that they do have other gold ones. And I know that uh, Urban Decay just came out with a line of really high intensity glosses. They might actually be called that. I don't really remember. So I'm just going to take some of that and put it over top to add a little bit more gold to the look. Last thing we're going to be playing with is highlight. Again, sticking with my gold theme, I'm going to take my MAC Luster Drops. These are in Sunrush. They came out with the Fruity Juicy Collection. I always want to say Juicy Fruity. This could screw a lot up because I have blue on my hands. Whatever. Uh, anyway, I always want to say Juicy Fruity, but I know that's the gum. And I remember that this was not the same as the gum. Okay, so I've got that. I'll use this hand, even though I don't normally do stuff with my left hand. And just blend that all in. It just kind of gives you like a bit of a bronzed, sun-kissed kind of color. And then we're going to take another MAC product, and that is their Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling. It is this beautiful, beautiful gold color. And I'm going to sort of use that over top of that liquid foundation or the liquid highlight because I do want this to be super glowy, super whimsical, super princessy. So I'm going to call that done. I hope you guys could see the colors pretty well. Um, they look okay to me in my viewfinder when I'm looking. Um, so hopefully this worked out better. I did it earlier in the day to make sure that the colors would stand out. Um, I haven't seen Mickey's look yet, but I'm sure it's fantastic because all of her looks are. So I will definitely link that above. I will also link down below all of our previous Disney collabs. Like I said, I know it's been a while, so I am sorry about that. It is my fault completely, not hers. Um, if you guys have any other Disney princesses that you are dying to see us do, um, next, let us know. We would be happy to do that, of course. Um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Mickey's channel. I know we would both really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.